Hey, this is Joe from Personas. In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an analog workflow, analog, inside of Studio One. I'm going to make this quick because I want you to go try this on your own. The idea of an analog workflow is really fun. Right? Chances are most of us aren't going to have a massive analog desk with analog tape and a bunch of knobs to mess with and a bunch of outboard compressors and EQs, right? Probably not the reality for most people, myself included. However, we can get a similar workflow inside of Studio One using Fat Channel. And I want to show you how I would set that up and I'm going to give you a mixing challenge to try at the end. Okay, open up a song in Studio One. So here's a fairly small song. It's got about 12 tracks or so. And the first thing I want to do is just remove all the plugins. So I'm going to select the first channel, hold down shift and click on the last channel that selects everything. Then under the insert section, I'm going to come up here, click on this drop down menu, scroll down to the bottom, and there's an option to remove all. So when I click that, you'll see all the plugins are gone. Now, while everything is still selected, I'm going to click on the send section and also choose remove all. That removes all my sends, and then I'm going to remove the plugins from my main output as well. Okay, now we have a essentially a blank session with no plugins there. Next, we're going to press F7 to open up our plugin window or our effects window over here. And we're going to grab Fat Channel and just drag that onto your main output. So when you first use Studio One, or if you've never changed this, when you bring Fat Channel into a session, it probably doesn't look exactly like this. Yours probably looks like this, perhaps? Or maybe it looks like this. There might be a couple of combinations there. But as a Studio One user, you have access to three different compressors and three different EQs inside of Studio One. If you're a Sphere member, you have access to more. But right out of the gate, whether you're using Artist or Pro, if you click on this pull down next to Compressor, you should see these first three options available to you. Choose the FET or the FET compressor. Next, under Equalizer, pull down the drop-down, and you'll have these three available, Standard, Passive, and Vintage. Choose Vintage. This is one of my favorite EQs inside of Studio One. I use it all the time. Next, what I like to do is I typically want to adjust 220 on the low, 360 on the low mid, 7.2K on the high, and then obviously the high frequency knob doesn't have a frequency adjuster. Um, and I'm going to leave that as is. So what we're doing here, if you set yours up like this and turn it on, this is now ready for me to mix. I find myself using these frequencies the most. I can click different ones if I need to. What I love about this EQ is it, being that it's modeled after an actual analog EQ, it doesn't give me every frequency to choose from. I've got four to choose from here, three here, three here, and I can't even choose here. I am boxed in to only using these set of frequencies. And really smart people developed this plugin or this analog piece of EQ, and they chose frequencies that make a lot of sense for mixing music. So each of these has a very good purpose. So if you're learning how to mix and you find yourself putting way too many plugins and doing way too much in your mix, do this challenge. Use Fat Channel on every channel. But first, let me show you how to save this as the default preset for Fat Channel, which is what I like to do. So once you have it set up like this, come up to the top here, and there's a little kind of a picture of a piece of paper here. Click on that and choose Store as Default Preset. Studio One says, are you sure? And I say, yes. Now, when I drag this onto a channel, and you'll remember all these channels are still selected, when I drag it onto there, it's gonna put it on every channel, and it's gonna have the exact same settings on every channel. So now we can use this compressor and this EQ on every channel. So here's where the challenge comes in. Set up your mix like this, and then get to work mixing using only the fader and this ep instance of fat channel on each channel. That doesn't mean you need to compress everything, doesn't mean you necessarily need to EQ everything, but this will give you a very analog workflow. You've got essentially a console with a FET compressor and the vintage EQ and a fader. So now you can choose each channel, set the levels first, then come through and start adjusting your EQs to taste. It's a really fun exercise, especially if you find yourself dependent on visually seeing what's happening with EQ. This forces you to listen more and it gives you fewer choices, which may seem like a negative, but it's actually a wonderful positive that helps you kind of keep moving forward on your mix. If you've never done a challenge like this before, I highly encourage you to do it. And once you do, come back here and leave a comment. Let us know how it goes. All right, that's it for me. Happy mixing. See you in the next one.